Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about the simple delegator class that's built into Ruby that allows you to create decorators for objects really easily and really, really uh, in a simple way. You don't even have to implement the initialize method with this, it's already done for you and it does some other cool tricks as well. So why would you want to build a decorator? Well, if you're working on something and you get an object back from some library or something built into Ruby, you may not want to modify that and monkey patch it. You might want to actually just say, hey, you gave me this object, I need to add a few things to this to make it easier or more intuitive for our code to work. So let's go wrap that instance with a decorator, like a simple delegator, and then we can work on that. It'll feel way more intuitive. We add that feature and we don't modify anything that's in that underlying library. Everything that way will stay exactly the same. We don't uh, have to worry about any of that. So that's kind of what you would use a delegator for. And a good example of this is GitHub's API where they use pagination for the headers and it will give you a link header that includes the previous, the next, the last, and first pages. And you can look at that header for those things, or you might look at the headers for rate limiting and determine, oh, I've been rate limited and I need to wait for extra amount of time before I make my next request. So in our previous uh, videos we've been building for our API clients, we're doing, we're doing this from scratch and we're making get requests and post requests and so on. And the way they make a request is they build up the request, they send the request, and then the response we assume is probably JSON for APIs mostly these days, that's what it is. So if it was a successful response, we will parse the body as JSON and return that back to the API client. 